And the yet-to-be-unveiled Building Bridges Initiative report has been drawn into a war of words that pits ODM MPs against their colleagues allied to Deputy President William Ruto. Senate Majority Leader Kipchumba Murkomen insists the BBI report should not be deliberated until ODM leader Raila Odinga apologizes over the violence that rocked the Kibla, uh, Kibra parliamentary race. But ODM MPs, among them minority whip Junet Mohamed, have blasted Ruto allies, claiming that they were using the Kibra scaffolds to justify their opposition to the Kenyatta Odinga handshake. As the majority leader in the Senate, I will not take on anything of BBI or handshake until the principal partner of handshake confesses his sins and asks for forgiveness from all Kenyans for what happened in Kibra. Wabunga wesi kwa pigwa alafu wanakuja kupewa orders at pitisha hii, pitisha hii. Apana, we are an independent republic. We are not going to allow that kind of conmanship and that kind of behavior to continue in this country. Ya BBI, tupilia mbali kwanza, tuungea maneno injustice that happened in Kibra against our own people. Ata BBI number one, ati ni kuleta wa Kenya pamoja. Kuleta wa Kenya pamoja na mnagani? Kama wewe uwezi sunguka Kenya hii, kama uwezi enda Kibra na ukonye siyasa zako. It's not about Kibra, we know what he's doing. He's laying ground to oppose the BBI report. He's laying ground to scuttle the handshake in the guise of uh, not accepting defeat in Kibra constituents. If he wants to defy the handshake, if he wants to oppose the BBI, let him come out clearly and say so. Instead of gerrymandering, and talking about an election that has been conducted, we have not seen anybody complaining. IEBC has not nullified results because of violence.